cisco.com slash go slash stealth watch. Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. I'm here at Cisco Live Barcelona with my good friend, DevNet's good friend, Will. Hey, Sylvia, Will Towns and more insights and strategy. I'm so glad you're here, but you know, this is not the DevNet zone. It's not. This is data center. It's all about data center. It is about data center. Yes, this is the data center zone. It's the biggest announcement we made in data center for years. We're talking about ACI anywhere, Hyperflex anywhere, just tons of innovation. Look at the whole bunch of customers right behind me. Super excited to be here. So I missed the announcements. I was in the DevNet zone. <laughs> Can you tell us what happened, what has been announced? Absolutely. So today we announced Cisco's new data center anywhere vision, okay? Because look, what's happened in the past few years, there's nothing centered about data anymore. And so, because you've got data on your watch, on your toaster, on your refrigerator, you've got data in the cloud, in the data center, in the colo, it's everywhere. And so if the data is everywhere, the data center needs to be everywhere. And that's the basic announcement we made. That's the big announcement we made, and we bring it to life with innovations in networking, with ACI Anywhere, innovations in compute and storage, with Hyperflex Anywhere, and with cloud orchestration with Cloud Center. So it's all packed into this really you know, big announcement Cisco did today, and super proud, and that's why you're seeing this whole lot of interest at this event. So you're talking about innovation anywhere, data center anywhere. Can you tie this back to what this means for the DevNet community? It's, it's about software enablement and software defined uh, infrastructure and clearly Cisco has been on a journey to, uh, to evolve that strategy as well. I believe DevNet's been a critical part in that, in that journey, being able to facilitate all of the developers to develop on top of not only Cisco gear but Meraki gear as well. We are having a Meraki takeover right now in the DevNet zone, and we will have a data center takeover on Thursday. So if you are here in Barcelona, make sure to check that out. What does that mean? It means we have a full hour of data center content, data center t-shirts, data center goodies. But what is the data center technology? Can you tell us more about what makes it real? Absolutely, so look, we've been on a journey for the past few years, right? We didn't just come out and announce this with like one small innovation. To make data center go everywhere, what I talked about, right? It starts with a network. And the network needs to extend from beyond the four walls of the data center to other data centers, to branch locations, to remote locations, all the way to the edge of the enterprise. So we've been doing that for the past two years or so. Today marks the final step of the journey where we've now taken that same network and extended it into the other direction, which is extended into cloud into Amazon, like AWS, into Microsoft Azure. And so now we've got a network which extends from the edge to the cloud. We call it the edge cloud continuum. And so this is going everywhere, and uh, you know that's kind of the big news. On Hyperflex, we've kind of gone in the other direction. We started with the main data center, and now we've extended it out into the branch locations. And the way we can do that is because we've got a cloud-managed software system that manages going the other direction. So, Again, I can go on and on. As you can see, I'm super <laughs> excited. So, uh, but that's, that's basically capturing the highlight of what we announced today. I'd love for you to translate this into what it means for developers. Well, I mean, in general, I mean, what's happening is uh, data is being generated in like astronomical amounts. You know, when you look at autonomous driving, when you look at like all of the, uh, the devices, the IoT devices as well, that are generating these large amounts of data. Um, and that's what's really driving this trend and why I believe Cisco is really front and center and really uh, have aligned a strategy that's going to go address that. From DevNet's perspective, I think that opens a whole host of new opportunities for developers. There was also an IoT announcement here at uh, Cisco Live Barcelona, and that fits very, very well into um, supporting this, uh, this announcement that DD has been mentioning. Um, and it's, you know, it's, what, what really impresses me about Cisco is the depth and the breadth and the end-to-end -end solution that Cisco brings. Um, when you look out at the industry, there are a lot of players that have figured out parts and pieces of that, but truly Cisco has been able to deliver an end-to-end -end solution from my perspective. And DevNet's an important part of driving that ecosystem even further. 
So, Didi, back to you. You're so excited. Yes. You're like a kid at his birthday party. So I want you to tell me um, what makes this uh, Cisco data center strategy special, but also I want you to show me your toys. Absolutely. It is a birthday party. It's actually our fifth birthday party, ACI. It's the number one SDN solution on the planet, and it's been around for five years. Um, instead of hearing about it just from me, can I pull an expert who has really been close to this technology? So, Emmeline, come on in. Emmeline's going to talk to us more about the 400 gig aspects. Why don't you switch, switch places? Okay. Welcome, Emmeline. Hi. So, what we have here is really exciting technology. This, everybody's talking about 400 gig, but this is 400 gig done right. But first of all, why do we even care for 100 gig, right? We have applications everywhere, more and more services will be online, so more bandwidth is needed right? to support seamless customer uh, experiences, either it's online video, gaming, transactions, you name it. But bandwidth alone is not enough. How do you manage the network, the workflow, right? And Cisco, ACI, and uh, NIK, that's where they come in to offer you security, automation, performance, analytics, and investment protection for the next decade like no one else can in the industry. Together with innovations like hardware and software, like ACI, Tetration, Network Assurance Engine. So come check it out at our booth or visit our website if you're not here. So these are some of DevNet's favorite words, edge computing, IoT, analytics, you're excited too, aren't you? I am, and what's really exciting about the Cisco lineup is the programmability of the products as well, and that goes back to that whole software-defined infrastructure and supporting that, so that makes it easier on the service provider side to roll things out. It makes it much easier for the enterprise with automation to take advantage of a lot of this hyperscale technology. Let's talk about, since it is your birthday party, some magic tricks, let's talk about a magic word, cloud. What does that mean, especially um, ha having to do with today's announcements? Oh, the cloud. <laughs> oh, the cloud. Yeah, while well, uh, we were you know, working on data centers and enterprise, there's a small little thing called cloud that happened around <laughs> us, right? I think it's been the most significant technology innovation over the past decade, like hands down. But here's the catch. Our customers are still struggling to keep their data centers or move to the cloud. They're, they're faced with this hard choice. And in fact, this announcement we made today actually bridges between a cloud and the data center. Something which could not be done not very well, not very securely, not very reliably, and that's at the heart of the announcement, which is the data center needs to be wherever the data is, which includes the cloud. And so, we are bringing the, these two worlds, these siloed islands of resources together you know, with this new announcement. So that's why it's super exciting. Will, you've heard about our campaign, what, um, The Bridge to Possible. Right. Would you like to uh, use that analogy as well with what you're seeing today? I would, and uh, you know, DD hit on cloud, right? And it's not just about you know a single cloud solution, right? It's going to be a combination of on-prem and multi-cloud. And I think what ACI demonstrates is support for uh, for Microsoft Azure as well as uh, you know AWS, right? So from my perspective, connectivity should be it should be easy, it should be seamless, and it should be all about customer experience. And so I think when you take this solution. And some of the other announcements that I've heard this week, Cisco is making that, that bridge to possible easy and seamless. Well, thank you both so much. Aditi, you are so excited, so I will let you have the last word. I just want to make sure that everyone uh, keeps in mind we are hardware, we are software, and we are the bridge to possible. Absolutely, the bridge between the siloed, siloed islands of resources, the bridge between IT teams and lines of businesses, just connecting ideas, connecting people, connecting data, that's what we do, that's what we do. That's what we do. So come check out the world of solutions if you're in Barcelona, make sure to visit the DevNet Zone.